Well, Thursday was pro day for Cornell quarterback Jeff Matthews. A year before, it was J.C. Treader who was drafted by the Green Bay Packers and paved the way. Not even 24 hours after Cornell made the news with Matthews, Treader's time may be now. Reports are running rampant in the NFL and in Green Bay that the Packers will give the first shot to Treader to be their starting center for the 2014 season. Now, J.C. is coming off a tough rookie year with the Pack. He broke his ankle in training camp. It was out most of the year. After center Evan Dietrich Smith signed with Tampa Bay, the door opened up for Treader. Now, Matthews, he's a good friend of J.C.'s, and his advice about getting to the pros is as big as it gets. J.C. said it best, I think, when he said it's always the next thing. You know what I mean? For this, it was, you know, the first big thing was uh, the East-West Shrine game, and I was fortunate to be down there and, and had a lot of fun down there. And then it was the combine, and then, you know, now it's the pro day, and next it'll be the workouts, and it'll be the draft. So there's always the next thing that you're working for, and you got to make sure you're putting your all into to the next thing that you're doing. All right, moving on now to lacrosse. Cornell continues to climb the mountain. The Big Red are second in the country, and tomorrow they travel east to try to stay undefeated. Cornell will take on Dartmouth in an Ivy League clash. Now, the Big Red is 8-0 on the season and 2-0 in the Ivy League conference. Interim head coach Matt Kerwick has rallied the troops quite well, and how he motivates them is like this. Take the field every day with Cornell Pride. It's, it's so much bigger than that. And these guys really care an awful lot about the guys that came before them. And, and you know, they, they have a lot of respect for all the alumni that have played for so many great programs, great teams here over the years. And uh, they, they want to represent that. Hey, don't forget, tonight's the night. March Madness continues on WNY TV CBS right here. This time it's the Sweet 16. Tennessee will take on Michigan in the early game at 715. And it'll be Kentucky versus Louisville in the nightcap. Don't change that channel after the news tonight right here on WNY TV. And look what they've done to them. Some area softball postponements have hit the twin tiers. Today's Tioga at Edison and both the Waverly and Newfield baseball and softball games were called due to poor field conditions. So that spring sports thing, come on, let's get it going. Let's get it out here. And I uh, got to say, great to have our good buddy in the house tonight, Adam Monk, a horse heads guy, uh, screen name PTP or 11, back of the old AOL, <laughs> AOL instant message. I just days. met him too. He's wearing a very vibrant shirt. We all do it. You, uh, you say chocolate tonight. So, you do look like you know. a, a chocolate bar tonight, yeah. Andy. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. Joel Adam, the man. <laughs> Joel,